All righty. So we have some awesome news coming out of Dorney Park. Um, it looks like a public notice has been sent out and due to what's going on in the world, it's going to take place online. So actually, if you follow the instructions on the screen currently, you can actually partake in the online, I guess, public notice or meeting about Dorney Park's new attraction. So that'll be Thursday April 16th around 7 p.m. and uh, and at 7.30 p.m. for the purpose of conducting a public meeting to discuss the following and other business brought before the board. Um, it is to discuss a new attraction and a either movement of a current attraction or relocation of another of a current attraction. Um, I believe the Sefford train ride, uh, they're going to relocate a portion of that. And the new attraction will be approximately 106 feet tall. 419 feet above MSL, the project pro proposes a net reduction of impervious surface. Sorry, the writing's somewhat blur blurry on my screen right now. The property is zoned as commercial recreation. Dorney Park is the owner and applicant. So, yes, um, based off of what we're seeing from the blueprints, which are on the screen right about now, um, it looks like it's going to be similar to that Gravity Group switchback roller coaster existing at another park, um, and it'll be 106 feet tall. It definitely looks very similar. From what I understand, it uses very large concrete slabs, very similar to what you're seeing in the blueprints. I owe this to my team completely. My team and my friends figured this out. I would never have even come close to thinking that this is what it would have been so huge thank you to my team and friends my closest friends in our discord call for uh, figuring it out and discussing it um but yeah it looks like this is going to be a gravity group switchback which is definitely going to be awesome for that park uh, i don't know the park's demographic but i'm assuming based off of this attraction it is a family thrill kind of park similar to canada's wonderland so this would be a great fit for that park as well Anyways, hope you enjoyed this really quick update about what Dorney Park could be getting in 2021. Um, and yeah, comment down below what you think it could be or if you're excited about Dorney Park's 2021 edition. And hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Thanks so much, guys, and have a great week. Bye.